Hi, welcome to SOLIDWORKS 2019-20 video tutorial. Now the same exercise in SOLIDWORKS and I've already opened the start step file which you can download from my GrabCAD account. In order to make it work I have to convert these curves to sketches. So let's go to sketch and that should be on the right plane, yes. I want to convert these entities like this, leave that sketch, click somewhere into empty space, go for another sketch on the same plane as before, the right plane, now convert, select chain these entities, confirm, Leave that sketch and make another sketch on the, let's take a look, that would be the front plane, convert these, confirm, close this sketch as well and then hide those original curves. Now I need an extrude in order to do a ruled surface. Go for features. Now go for extrude here. Select. Turn it around. Confirm. And now I want to make a root surface, this sketch should be hidden, here yeah, it is, so go for, where's the root surface, swept, there you go, root surface, tapered to vector, yes, distance maybe 25, that would be the direction and I want to use a plane, this plane, so it should go up, yes, and the edge would be this edge here all around, and it should be 5 degrees of course. But the other way around, not this way around. I want to go for the alternate side for all of these. So select them all. Go for alternate side so it would go to the inside. And confirm. Let's hide that extrude surface body. Let's do another extrude with this sketch here. Should be mid plane, should be 80 millimeters in distance. And confirm. Then add a fillet. On this edge, 5 millimeter and OK. Let's go for trim. I want to trim. With that tool here. And I want to remove this side. Confirm. Then another trim. Now I want to use this as trim tool and I want to remove the upper side like this and confirm. Now let's knit those two surfaces. 
this one and that one and confirm now I want to go for that variable radius fillet okay go for fillet go for variable size fillet and let's start with one millimeter and select the edges so I would go for this edge and that edge of course and I could set this one millimeter to those unassigned ones set unassigned see that's okay I need more edges I need this edge and those as well but I could start with this one and that one and use 10 millimeters and set those unassigned ones to 10 millimeter and I could fix those yeah seems I can't get to this one up there but I could fix those like this and now I have to add other edges so go for this edge that edge this one and that one make it one millimeter and again set the unassigned so this could already work but I have to select those edges as well and there will be no unassigned one so this should work and it does confirm and that's my first chamber so let's hide this one and that would be that extrude which I don't need I need another extrude so let's bring back that sketch make it visible and I will need an extrude with five degrees tapered let's see if that's possible so go for an extrude surface select that sketch here turn it around and maybe 10 millimeters and I could go for a taper angle and that would be 5 degrees but draft outward like this and confirm and hide that sketch this one should be invisible now let's bring back that sketch here and this one make another extrude surface make it mid plane make it 80 then add a fillet normal one up here five millimeters confirm and now i want to project this curve onto that surface so go project curve on face yes the curve would be this one here and of course the complete one yeah the direction would be the right plane and the surface would be that surface here and those as well 
confirm and let's see if we can trim with that curve so go for a trim the tool would be this projected curve and I want to remove this side and confirm and let's hide that curve here yeah and I could hide that sketch as well that would be this one and now I want to do the loft okay so go for a loft and the profile right click go for selection manager I want to where's my selection manager there it is a closed loop that would be a closed loop yes confirm and next profile would be again a closed loop confirm and I've already got a surface here but it should be tangent to this one and tangent to that one so let's see if I go to tangency to face works make sure that this option is on merge tangent faces and let's see for the end constraint tangency to face doesn't work so I have to change those values so let's go for 0 0.3 and see if that works yes that works and maybe I could change this value as well so that's the first one so this could be Maybe a little bit more, 1.1, yeah, not as much, and maybe I could up this a little bit as well, yeah, and go here, right click, show all connectors, and I want to add two more connectors, so let's move this bubble or point over here maybe like this and I will get another one same here maybe like that and the same on the other side because that should improve that surface maybe like that no not quite move it a little bit to the yeah, that's more like it or even like this and then move this wall and you will get another connector maybe like that it's not quite the same but almost and I'm happy with that so just confirm it hide that surface that would be surface extrude 4 and knit those together so this one and that one and confirm and I'm done so I hope this was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.